Monsieur Barrow? No. Uh, uh, Signor Frascati, en Milan, m'a dit qu'il a rentré uh, à Paris. Allô? Paris? Allô? Calling Paris. Come in, Paris. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, damn! Ow! Ooh. Where the hell have you been? I was walking. I took a very long walk. Whose eardrums did just blow out? Europe. I was on the phone to Europe and they hung up on me. The entire continent? Are you above calling in these days? You are in some mood, my dear brother. Stacy, I needed you. Well, how did I know that? B by calling in your office. You should call in for messages. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not go through this again. What did you need me for? I need a copy of Max Will and, and this law firm that was handling his affairs. <laughs> Is there something I should know? Oh, don't ask. The lesson for the day is never send a man to do a woman's job. Okay, uh, don't tell me. Let me guess. You've got the will. Not yet. Well, then what was all this fanfare and dancing about? I have got some very interesting information. Oh, you do? Yes, I well, do. Well, great. Since you have so such information... No, 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 no. I get my apology first. That was the deal. All right. That's it, all right, is your idea of an apology? I uh, apologize for saying that the only reason you were nice to me is because you wanted a job. Yeah. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, may I have your information, please? You may. Thank you. You're welcome. The situation is not what you expected. Yes, Mr. Berglund, I understand, but I'm not exactly sure when we're going to be able to give you a decision on that. Uh, just tell him the board meets in a couple of days. Uh, I'll tell you what, the board meets in just a couple of days, so why don't we... Yes, of course, everything is running very smoothly. It is difficult to replace someone like my father, but um, we realize that, and we're prepared. Perfect. So I'll talk to you then. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, hey, you were terrific. I feel like a complete froggy. Why? I'm well, just telling him that everything is running smoothly, like we're getting along just fine without my father. Well, Amanda, if that helps you deal with it, that's something that I... Nothing helps. I'm sorry. I just want him back, you know? I want to put my arms around him and, and tell him that I love him. He knew. You know? I think he knows. Okay, look, enough of this. I've got to get back to work. I have to figure out how I'm going to make these decisions alone. Wait a second. You're not making any decisions alone. I'm here. Yes, Karen, what is it? Sure, put her on. Mom? Honey, Cass wants to see us right away. All right, I'll be right there. Uh, Evan, I've got to leave for a little while, but I'll call in later, okay? Okay, don't worry about anything. Look, what I said before, uh, I'm... Uh, forget it. spinach things. I'd like you to try it. I think they're a little too salty. How come I'm never not hungry? Do you know, in all my years in the American kitchen, I've never been able to say, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. I've been able to say, no, thank you. Vivian, would you stop rambling on? You've got to eat, boss. I can't. You couldn't find the letter, huh? Well, how could I find anything? Amanda came storming in and practically threw me out of the office. That doesn't sound too friendly. <sighs> Vivian, I will not be shut out of Cory Publishing. You are Mr. S Corey's daughter, you know. Exactly. And I know no matter how angry Daddy would have got, he would... he would always have found a way to forgive me eventually. He's about the sweetest man on the face of the earth. 
That's right, and that's why I know he would never have shot me out of his life. Well, I suppose everything is probably divvied up in the will, huh? Never mind. Even I know that was too nosy. The will! I'm sorry I even mentioned it. I didn't it. even think of it! You didn't? No. Cass. What about him? Uh, Cass handles all of Daddy's legal affairs. I'm just going to see what it says. I've got to see if, if I was excluded. Winthrop and Edwards. Yes. Uh, hello, this is Iris Wheeler. I would like to speak to Mr. Winthrop immediately, please. It's urgent. Uh, well, you just missed a Mrs. Wheeler. He left for a meeting at the Corey Mansion. Corey Mansion. doing I hung up the phone that was Iris Wheeler right you don't hang up on Iris Wheeler you told her where Cass went well she had to know she said you never urgent. tell anybody where he went unless it's a friend and she is definitely not a friend how am I supposed to know that you were at the trial you saw Cass question her so what does that mean that they're sworn enemies couldn't they have you made up never I tell anyone where we go you simply say may I take a message do I look like a trained secretary to you guys I'm a private investigator who's trying to help you out of a jail. All right, but... No, no, I'm... wait, 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 no buts. So far, I have solved the Jason Frey murder case, I have gotten Felicia out of jail, I have answered your damn phones, and I have got the scoop on the will, and have I heard a single word of thanks from any of you? No, let alone gotten a paycheck. So, honey, as of now, I am history. Well, uh, wait a second, Frankie, wait. Hey, yo, you guys don't even validate parking. I am five bucks in the hole because of you guys. No, you're right. You're I know right. I'm right. I've got stubs. I mean about the way we've treated you. It's not like I expect a parade in my honor or anything, but a smile or two would hurt. All right, look, I'm not going to excuse us. But you do have a certain manner about you. Are you sure you're not going to excuse you? I think what we've done is we've transferred our anger at Nicole to the person to discover the truth about her. Oh, so I'm the bad guy. It's kind of like killing the messenger syndrome. And I apologize. I know it's a lame excuse. No. No, no, it's, it's not lame. It's, it's okay. I accept your apology. <laughs> Thank you. I'll send Cass the bill. How's your sandwich? It was fine. Hope the bread isn't too stale. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Just looking at these contacts. Of, uh, of the shoot? Yeah. How are they? So far, they're okay. How was the shoot? Was it, uh, good? Was it fun? It was, uh, it was good. Not a lot of fun. Mitch. Yeah. Let's talk. Okay, I know you're upset about Lucas. Sure I am. Will you talk to me? Will you tell me what you're feeling? I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Honey, I want you to do what you want. Look, I know what you're going through. I know it's not easy. I know it's been tough on you. I just... I don't trust Lucas. I don't blame you for that. I mean, I, I can't imagine how I would feel if something like this happened to me. Like what? Honey, if a woman walked in this door and said she was an old lover and you had a child together, I would be insane from jealousy. Look, it's... It's not that. It's just something about it. He has changed. How? He was always a tough kid. I, I don't know. There's... There's a hardness about him now. A sort of a ruthless quality that, that he never had before. At least I didn't see it. Well, he can be ruthless, and I'm glad you see that. I do. But I do understand why. I know what he had to go through to get where he is today, and whether I like it or not, we have to work together in order to find our child. I know that. I understand that. But I want you to know that I'm going to watch out. I wouldn't want it any other way. And... If you're at all worried about Lucas and me, you don't have to be. You have no reason in the world to be jealous. I love you with all my heart, and I always will. I 
child with Lucas. Hey, look who I found in the driveway. Oh, Cass. I appreciate <laughs> you getting to this so quickly. Yes. Well, um... We all appreciate it, Cass. Iris? Iris, I don't have time to talk to you just now. I'm Mackenzie Corey's daughter. I have a right to be here if there's any discussion about his will. I presume that's what's going on, isn't it? You have no right to be in this house. Amanda, it's good that she's come. She should be here. It affects all of you. 